Hey, ghosts. Operation Motherland is the brand new update for Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Set a few months after the event of Operation Greenstone, Operation Motherland is led by an old friend of the ghosts, Karen Bowman. After you and your squad completed your original mission on Aroa, the island quickly became a strategic place for powerful countries looking to get their hands on its technology. In response, the CIA has tasked Karen Bowman to defuse this global upcoming crisis by giving the control of the island to a neutral force, the Outcast, led by Harui Ito. To do so, you will have to help the Outcast get rid of the remaining enemy forces in a brand new mode, the Conquest Mode. The Conquest Mode is a new alternative mode to Ghost Recon Breakpoint Story Mode. You will have to conquer various territories of Aroa by carrying out various destabilization missions. Note that each of the missions you complete will have an impact on the world dynamic, such as deactivating drone surveillance, removing enemy presence, or increasing outcast patrols. Choose the mission you want in any order and reshape the world of Aroa. Territories are ruled by lieutenants. Destabilize and conquer all the regions of a territory will give you clues to identify its lieutenant, neutralize them, and liberate the area. Freeing all the territories will allow players to reach the final region and complete the liberation of Aroa. And as you might have guessed, Sentinel aren't going to be the only enemies you'll have to fight on your quest to free Aroa. Operation Motherland will see the return of an iconic enemy of the ghosts, the Bodarks. Allied to the Sentinel and Wolves, they brought their own helicopters and trucks adding new convoys and patrols throughout Aroa. Players will have to fight five enemy archetypes with new gameplay mechanics, bringing an extra layer of tactical options. The tactician is a caller. He'll try to stay alive and call up numerous reinforcements to overwhelm the ghosts. The oppressor and dreadnought both carry extra armor, while the oppressor is a rusher that will come at you with his SMG. The dreadnought will stay further away from you with his rocket launcher. Finally, the Trooper and Seeker are both riflemen. While the Trooper is a standard soldier, the Seeker comes with an extra piece of tech in his kit. Indeed, Operation Motherland also marks the return of an iconic feature, the optical camo. You will be able to unlock the optical camo in the Conquest mode, as well as its own progression system that will offer you ways to make it even more efficient. Upgrading the optical camo will allow you to improve its battery duration or even increase the efficiency of the camo. While the optical camo can be unlocked and upgraded in the conquest mode, you will also be able to equip it in the story mode once unlocked. That's not all, Ghosts. Operation Motherland also comes with a bunch of other gameplay additions and improvements. Maximum XP level has been raised to 99 instead of 30, providing a new long-term objective to everyone with unlockable weapons and gear. The new weapon mastery system will now allow you to use your extra skill points in order to improve certain characteristics of selected weapon categories. Talking about weapons, the Bodarks have brought with them five new Russian weapons and variants that you will be able to get your hands on, as well as six new weapons and variants that will be available in Maria's shop. Maria's shop will also be restocked with various new customization options and vehicle skins. Furthermore, by progressing in the liberation of Aroa in the conquest mode, you will be able to unlock new weapons, equipment, and vehicle skins. Once unlocked, they will also be available in the story mode. Finally, as a celebration for the 20th anniversary of Ghost Recon, this update will also include three iconic skins of famous characters from previous games. That's all for me, Ghosts. Hope you're as excited as I am for this new content. See you soon on Aroa.